Hi, cyberspace. Um, I'm sorry if my voice sounds a little funny, um, but I caught this really bad cold from a friend of mine, even though he claims it's not his fault, but it is so his fault. Um, but so that I've got this cough and the sore throat, so that that's why uh, my voice sounds funny. But I really wanted to make a video because um, I'm finally done with my play that I was running crew for. Um, so I have evenings free again, which is a good thing because Nano has started. Yay! Um, NaNoWriMo, I think most of you who watch my videos know about NaNoWriMo, um, National Novel Writing Month, which is when people all over the world slash the internet take the month of November to write a 50,000 word novel in 30 days. Um, and I, I, I did it last year and I loved it. Um, it was um, a really amazing experience and it kind of just forces you to keep writing. You can't go back and edit, you can't worry about plot holes and stuff like that. You just have to power through and keep writing. Um, which is really good, especially for me because I tend to just stop my stories halfway through and never go back to them. So Nano is a really healthy thing for me. Um, so last year, most of you know, I wrote uh, the first half of the Alexi Dutton Chronicles. Um, the first book of it anyway. Um, and I know I just said you don't worry about plot holes during Nano, but apparently you do because my second half of Alexi has this major problem with it and I cannot write the second half without fixing that problem and I haven't had time or inclination to go back and finish doing that. So I have to do that. Um, so that's why Nano this year is not going to be the second half of Alexi Dutton book one. Um, this year I am writing a novel called 15 Hours or Just Another Zombie Apocalypse Novel. Um, uh, it's, I think it's pretty spectacular. I wrote a decent outline for it and I think it's gonna be fun. Since I'm kind of like bleh today and I literally slept for half the day, um, I'm not gonna really talk at you that much. Um, I want to read you the first page and a half-ish um, of 15 Hours. Um, because that's just easier than coming up with sentences to talk to you because, oh my god, I'm not making coherent sense. You can tell me in the comments if it's good, if it's terrible, if it's worth doing for Nano. Obviously I'm doing it anyway because I've already started and I'm not going to come up with a new idea three days in. But um, yeah, tell me what you think of my zombie apocalypse story. So here goes. 15 hours or just another zombie apocalypse novel. There are only so many ways of writing the zombie apocalypse novel. Every story of zombie apocalypse is, at heart, the same. The hero, or heroine, survives the initial onset of the plague, broken and scarred by the experience. He, or she, joins up with a group of similarly scarred survivors who slowly, one by one, get picked off by the zombies. There's melodrama, and usually the hero, or heroine, okay, you get the idea, has to kill off at least one of their companions who has been, unfortunately, zombified. Zombified always gets coined as a word. Somehow, the hero remains alive, and the story ends with him being the sole human left among the undead. There you go. Whole novel in less than five sentences. Tell me I'm wrong when I say they're all generally the same. So, what, you might be asking yourself, is this? How is this zombie apocalypse novel different from all the others? To be perfectly honest, in some ways, it's not. The same... <coughs> Sorry. Uh, in some ways, I'm just adding mine to the pile. But while the basic elements of my story are the same, girl survives, girl meets other survivors, girl coins the word zombified, girl survives some more, it is different from the usual ones. Because this one's true. Every word. And if you're reading this sometime in the future, if the human race has somehow miraculously survived as it seems to always inextricably do, and you are scoffing at the idea of this story being true, then please explain to me how the world has forgotten the outbreak. Tell me this book is not soaked in real blood. Tell me those pictures of the late-stage zombies taped to the inside back cover are faked. I guarantee that they aren't, and that this 110% truly, actually, for sure, happened. But you don't have to keep reading if you don't want to. You can go read all the other ones, back from B12, that's before 2012 in case you didn't know, the ones my best friend Anne used to read, the ones that follow the formula I laid out in the first paragraph. They're probably more entertaining and much better written, though scientifically speaking, they're horrific. They're probably edited to not have any dangling modifiers or sentences that end in prepositions, but they will also be works of fiction, whereas this, this, as my grandmother would say, is God's own truth, so true the devil would believe it. 
This is the truth set down in ink, which will probably run out before the story is finished, to the light of a flickering flashlight, which will definitely burn out before the ink runs dry, by me, Cecilia Jennifer Henley, in the year 2012, 11 months after the first outbreak of the zombie plague. So that's the, the first couple paragraphs. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I might be doing a couple more readings uh, as the month goes on, because I'm pretty sure my videos are going to consist of nano for the next few weeks. So uh, I hope you like the beginning of my story, and I will see you guys next week. Keep being nerdy. Uh, I'll keep being nerdy and writing a novel. And I will see you next week. Bye!